Hey guys, the poor fisherman here, and today I'm going to show you a review of my kayak. And as long as I've had it, which is only about five days, it's been quite amazing. It has everything you need to get out on the water. And the only problem I would say right now is the lack of compartments. The only compartment that it has is this, like, supposedly watertight, but I put my rods in here, and they kind of got wet, but it's not a big deal. And it has, like, these little, like, trash things, and I have no idea what those are. The seat on this kayak is outstandingly comfortable. Here's my life vest. It's good to have a life vest because you might fall in the water and you never know what's out there. And, you know, even though you're the best fisherman or swimmer out there, chances are you're going to fall in at least once. And maybe one day there's it's just your bad day or something. You might drown and to reduce those chances, you get a life vest. It's not the best, but... Let's get the job done. Um, the kayak when I bought it, it does, it did come with these like scupper plugs. I have no idea. Like, um, if y'all guys may get it, but I got it over at Academy Sports and Goods, but I got them. Um, um, here's my rod. Well, that's not part of the video. One, I guess, mod, it would be this milk crate. And it's just a milk crate that I made a hinge out of with some zip ties. And to hold this bucket, we got some bungee I just found laying around that is just hooked by one of the little holes in the little milk crate. Get that out really easily. Then your thing is free. And maybe one day you want to get the inside the compartment. You just le lift this right here. Then you got yourself a little compartment. Here's my hammock. It's really nice to have a hammock. Because this way maybe you're one day tired and you just want to Land it in the middle of nowhere. So you can just take a nap in the middle of nowhere, I guess. Those are some catfish hooks. Um, worst deal I've ever made in my life, but... Um, yeah, and get the job done. The seat right here is removable. So maybe, like, again, maybe you want to like, take a rest, but you want to, like, not fall asleep. Take it out. Take a rest. The seat can be held down by... This little strap thing, but I don't really use it. But um, I should really start using it because maybe one day I'll flip my kayak, and I don't. I'm not really looking forward to losing my seat because that's pretty pricey to get it replenished. Oh, well, it's kind of hard to put this thing back on with one hand. Are you looking at your phone screen? Um, what else? Oh man, about this. I really need to get some Plano boxes. You know them little boxes that kind of. Here's my little messy, very case. I'm break the line, but um, yeah. You know them Plano boxes that kind of look like this. I want to get some and put them like inside of there. So that they don't like fall down, and I don't have to worry about this. And maybe I could just like saw that top part off, and yeah, I won't have to worry about losing this stuff, even though it's not much. But nothing better than having at least some tackle. Here's some worms, but they don't catch anything, in my opinion. Never caught anything with the worm in my life, frogs. Have caught some, some jigs. They're pretty decent, I guess. 
crankbait. So the winner of the team, these these little bad boys right here, flipless. Caught majority of my fish with those. Can never go wrong with crankbait. Just like constant retrieve. Um. Yeah, look, look I, this is why I don't like these tackle boxes. Look how it's chewing it up. Eh, alright. They never caught anything anyways. Not that you should do that though. Um, yeah. I got this paddle. Ugh. This is what it looks like when you're sitting down. Pretty nice, I guess. And here's my paddle. Oh god, it's stuck. Uh oh. There you go. It's. Well, I can see it's a uh, Mongolian Outdoors Torrent. It's a pretty good paddle. It's for about 40 bucks. But it's not really the best paddle. Like, it kind of looks like it's kind of loose. Like, I don't know. The, I don't know if you can hear that. Oh, look at my messy garage. Hey, look. How fun is that? Messy little desk right there. Some charcoal. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, the foot rests on these. I don't know if they're supposed to be like that. But as far as all I've seen, they're always kind of wiggly. Hey, but that's like... They've always been like that. All the kayaks I've seen. Always like that. Oh, about the paddle. You will always want a longer paddle. The longest you can get, because this paddle, it's about 228 centimeters, I think. And, um, I'm still kind of having to move my arm, because it's just not long enough. And, yeah. It comes with like this little like stick sticker um, fish measure. I'm assuming the other, they are approximate sizes. I wouldn't like really trust it, cause you don't want to be taking some like fish and well, make it be illegal to take it, cause just cause this was incorrect. And besides, sorry, peeling away. Look, only took it out in the water once. And yeah. Um, these are my fishing rods. Like in the flush mount rod holder, I have no idea how you would take water out of those in case you wanted to flip them. But I don't think that water will melt like plastic. Here's some worms. I fished them like about all day whenever I went fishing. Like took it out for a maiden voyage. And guess what? Caught nothing. Well, at least with this I never catch anything. It's this like cheap bait caster. Um cheap bait caster. It has a little square bill KBD crankbait. Um, I don't know how much I got this for, but hey, we'll get the job done. Um It has like this I have no idea what these things are called. It's like this Bass Pro Shop, like medium heavy action. Um I might make some like some bungee cords to connect. Like you drill a hole right here, right here, or connect them right here, and put it through the eyelet of the fishing rod so that they don't like fall down in case when they flip. Because um, even though it's made out of cork right here, I don't think it will let the rod spin in the water for long. Hell, here's my bows, in case you guys are wondering, maybe y'all guys saw them, I don't know. Some bows, little compound, le little compound, it's a bear legion. Um, I already, like, derailed the bow, so I need a new string on that bastard. But I like recurves better, they're about a million times better, it's a 50 pound. That one, it's adjustable, but I usually keep it about 70 pounds. Yeah. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh, this right here, this is like a little rod holder. At first, I didn't even know what this was. But you see this like little bungee right here? Right here. See that black bungee? You can just 
in there's like right here. There's like this thing. And that's your paddle holder when you're like standing up. You can also put it through right here, right here. But I don't really agree with like I don't really think it's that safe because it might fall. Hey, but I'll get a paddle each soon, so I don't I won't like have to worry too much. Oh I like this about this kayak too. See this like little like uh strap looking thing? Uh you put your fingers through there, help you get up real easy. And standing up on this kayak is amazing. Like maybe the maybe my first hour or so I was like moving around a lot and I was afraid I was gonna flip. Because you know, it was my first time on a kayak. I've only been on canoes and boats. We used to have a boat, but we sold it. And now me and my dad are getting kayaks. He has, still hasn't got his, but I'm just waiting for mine. For his, I mean. So I want to go with him. Kind of lonely when you're out there alone on the pond. And it's not just like an ordinary pond. It's a pretty big pond. Probably about five acres. And yeah, that's about all I have to say. Oh, this little, what's it called, like these plugs? I wouldn't really trust it because look, you see that? It doesn't close. So it doesn't, I don't even know why. Another complaint is this seat right here. You see this little strap? Um, some poor. <laughs> I had a cell with braid because this thing gets snapped. And I've seen some reviews and it says that that's a really common problem with this. And I emailed Pelican and they say that they're gonna send me a new seat. Even though I already sewn it, so more ha ha ha. I gotta keep that seat. Um yeah, that's about it for this kayak. Really nice.